Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel another 7 days to die video. Doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC, but this should work on consoles as well. This is testing something that somebody's asked me a lot about and I've been working for a good way to try and test this and this is about light. Now part of this video is going to be rather dark because in order to be able to have light, you have to have dark. So it, right at the moment I have my uh, helmet light on, my mining helmet light on so you can see what's going on here. But if I turn it off you can see that it's, it's okay lit up here, but if you're having struggles seeing that is why. So, what I have right now is that there's a command you can use on here, just called lights. If you type in lights, um, right now I'm it's off, so, but if you type in lights, it turns on the in-game portion of the engine that shows you the light sources here. So, let me turn on my lights, and you can see now it gives it a green glow. Uh, when the lights command is on, anything that generates a light source is going to put out a green glow, kind of a circle, so you can see how much light it's actually putting off. So what I'm going to do is I'm inside a working stiff place, and I sealed it up the best I could. I closed off all the windows, um, the doors, so as you can see, with this off here, there's no green coming anywhere. This is as dark as it's really going to get in here. Um, destroyed all the lights, closed off all the doors, everything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a couple different sources of light, similar to like the candle. You can see, you know, the little arc it has here. Here, the torch and how much it lights up and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try in this darkness of this room to use a couple different light sources and try and figure out for you guys what is the best light source available now I've done tests in the past on which ones attract zombies so I'm not gonna worry about trying to test that this is just going to test which one lights up a room best so kind of chose this center column here it's a kind of in the middle of the room we're gonna go with a, a candle first and see once it's actually here with the light source on see if I turn this off you can see it just creates the normal glow here, but if you turn that on, you can see the arc in which you see how much light it has. And with a standard candle, it's all of about one, two, three, four, five, five blocks in a big circle here. So candles don't really do that much as far as being able to pick, you know, generate a light. Okay, so let's try with the torches. So I put a torch out here and you can see it extends a circle all the way out to the edge here and beyond the edge of it. So one torch lights up almost the entire room. If I had spent enough time and perfectly centered it right here in the middle, it would probably hit everything except for these far corners over here. So one general torch will light up most of the room here. Now I'm going to try a couple of the different electrical lights that you can have here. You can see that you got industrial and fluorescence and dome lights and simple lights and stuff like this. And these are things you need to make at the workbench and, you know, require different levels of parts versus the torch of the candle are a little bit easier to obtain so I'm gonna get up a, a system set up here so I can just swap them out easily and see how much light they generate so bear with me. okay so now what I have here is I'm gonna use just four different kinds of electrical lights that you can make here I got the simple light the silver dome light the industrial light and a fluorescent light there's a few other ones here but I'm just gonna try these four out just to kind of see um, I set up a solar bank on the roof run it to a relay into a switch so I can install one of these at a time and then be able to use the wire tool to connect it that way I can turn the switch on and off here and I can actually control it here so I'll turn this on and get the light source back to normal and so when I flip this on you can see it generates a little bit of life okay so the first thing is the fluorescent light that I put on here and you can see that right now it does not put off the whole lot more than just the regular candle does and that's not too big a deal fluorescent lights even in real life aren't that big a deal they're not super super bright unlike you know LED lights or whatever so this one looks like maybe about a six block radius here but you can see that it's not super super bright so let's swap it out with another one okay and now we have the industrial light up set here so let's flip the switch on and see this puts off it looks like it's about the same amount of light as the fluorescent light if it's a little bit bigger it's not by more than just a block it's not going to give a whole lot more space than just a fluorescent did but you can see here that at least with the industrial light and the fluorescent light they don't put off a whole lot of light at all Huh. All right, well, let's get ready to try the dome light and the simple light. All right, so we have the silver dome light here. Let's get this fired up and see what it does. And that looks like it does pretty much the same thing as the other ones here. I'm going to assume that most of the electrical lights in this game put off the same amount of light source as far as total radius that you can possibly light up here. But, you know, I do want to try it out just for due diligence here. So, so far, three for three, they're all the exact same. Alright, and now for the simple light, we'll flip this one on, and it, it looks brighter because it's just a light bulb, there's no diffuse or anything around it, but you can see the total radius around it is the exact same as just the rest of those. Alright, well that's pretty interesting. Okay, just for good housekeeping, I have an old warehouse light here that you see like outside. Uh, that doesn't put off much more, that's just a teeny tiny little bitty circle as far as what it does. Now imagining if I went up just a little bit higher, uh, you know with where it was placed it might make the radius just a little bit bigger But since this isn't the actual glow of the light. This is just the light source 
it's not very big at all. The warehouse lights are the worst ones so far. They're about the same thing as just a regular candle. Okay, and the last thing I have set up here is just the regular old trash can spotlight. I want to make sure that I test this one out because I know this is the one that a lot of people use, including myself. So we turn this one, which I have it in the same spots the rest of them, just have it pointing straight down. You can see this lights up every single corner of the room. It's got a green glow in the entire room here. So for my testing from general testing of all the basic lights that you can use in the game here, the trash can spotlight is the absolute brightest. It lit up every single thing here. There's no shadows at all. It would probably even bleed into some of the other rooms as far as the light sources go. So for everybody out there that's kind of wondering what is the best possible lighting that you can have in the game, well here you have the trash can spotlight is. And with all this and stuff that you have going on here, it doesn't raise the heat up at all. I threw that up on the screen just so you can see it on the left. My heat is at 7.6% and that's only just because I've done a whole bunch of, you know, tearing down things with metal and stuff before I even started. So you can line your base with these spotlights as much as you want to and you're going to get a much better glow. Um, but as far as being able to see you better, you know, if zombies are going to be able to see you in the light, of course, this is going to light up a bigger area. They're going to have a better chance to see you. But if you're just wanting to light up the area as much as possible, trash can light your best bet. So anyway, thank you for this suggestion. It was a really good one to try out. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from this one. Do keep those suggestions coming because I do appreciate those and always keep them on my list. Now, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, you know, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And be sure to click that bell icon so you get notified when a new video goes live thank you guys so much for all your support on these videos you guys are truly awesome you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later